Hi, everybody. Gary Francione for the Abolitionist Approach. Maggie is insisting on joining today's session. Aren't you? Yes. In any event, many animal advocates say that vegans should not consume vegan products if those vegan products are made by a non-vegan company or if by a vegan company if the company is owned by a non-vegan parent then they should not uh, consume them or purchase them. I don't agree with that. As a matter of fact I think that position makes no sense whatsoever. No money is clean, all money is dirty. There is no such thing as clean money when it comes to animal exploitation. Let's think about it for a second. You know, I heard someone say that uh, to, to another person that they should not buy Marmite, which is a yeast spread, which is uh, made in Britain, but they should not buy it because it's made by a company, a parent, the parent company is Unilever, and Unilever does animal testing. Well, what's the alternative? So you don't buy the Marmite, but you go to the grocery store and you buy vegetables that are raised by people who aren't vegan, transported in trucks by people who aren't vegan, sold in stores that sell all sorts of animal products. How have you avoided putting money into the pockets of animal exploiters? The answer is you haven't. So it doesn't really, you know, it, you, you can't, no money is clean, all money is dirty. You can't really stay away from the chain of exploitation. I eat in a restaurant from time to time. It's a vegan restaurant. One of the owners is not vegan. Uh, and, and um, you know, so I'm putting, in the money, I'm putting money into the pockets of animal exploiters. Some of the people who serve the, the, the meals and you know, the servers, they're not vegan. The suppliers to the restaurant, I'm sure, aren't vegan. The truck, the truck drivers are driving trucks that, that, that carry animal products as well as the products brought to the vegan restaurant. So, I mean, there's no way you can avoid putting money into the pockets of animal exploiters. Simply no way. So this idea that, well, you shouldn't buy this product or that product because, you know, the, the, the company that makes them or the parent company, they're bad companies because they, they, they uh, are involved in animal exploitation. The answer is, that's true. That, is, that statement is true of anything and everything that you buy. Now, some corporations may be worse than others in terms of, of uh, you know, they're doing things to humans. All, all corporations <laughs> exploit humans to some degree, um, but some do some really, really bad things. And so you might have an issue with what a particular corporation is doing with respect to how it's, it's, it's um, violating human rights. And you may, not, you may want to boycott that corporation. But it has nothing to do with the idea that, well, you know, we shouldn't buy vegan products from vegan companies or from uh, non-vegan companies because that's putting money into the pocket of animal exp exploitators, uh, exploiters because that's true true of all products that we buy. That's true of all services that we, we get. So the bottom line is that um, no money is clean, all money is dirty, and, and um, drawing arbitrary lines is nonsensical. Going vegan is very easy. We have a website, howdoigovegan.com. You get all the information you need, plus we'll give you mentoring and support and whatever if you'd like it. Uh, and remember, if animals matter morally, then veganism is the only rational response. Thank you very much for listening.